Hi, thanks for joining us. I'm MCC graduate Andrew Career. It's been a few busy weeks here at MCC, so let's get right to it. The nursing program's cutting-edge simulation centers are getting noticed. The high-tech centers include a sim man that can replicate health problems and injuries nurses will see in real life. It's so cutting-edge that even a Las Vegas hospital started up its own sim center to help train their doctors. It is the most technologically advanced equipment for a nursing department. We have the highest technology available. The nursing program is accepting applications for the fall 2019 semester. Head online to mojave.edu forward slash nursing for more info. But you need to hurry up because the application window closes on February 1st. Great news for local veterans. MCC is opening some new centers just for you. The first one opened in Neal Campus Kingman back in November. It's exclusively for veterans and their families. The center includes computers, information about veteran services in the local community, and much more. It's such a success that the college is opening two more at the Havasu and Bullhead City campuses. So the initial reaction when we opened the Veterans Center here in Kingman was just enthusiasm. Other campuses wanted in. All the Veterans Centers are in the campus libraries. For more information, call 1-866-MOJAVE-CC and ask for the Veterans Service Coordinator. And we can't talk about successful expansion without mentioning the college welding program. The demand for MCC educated and trained welders is high. The past semester was the first time welding was offered not only in Kingman but also in Havasu and Bullhead City. Reports from the MCC Career and Technical Education Division are that the first semester went off better than expected. In a safety move, MCC is now carrying naloxone, commonly referred to as Narcan. It's used to reverse opioid overdoses. Mojave County has the highest rate of prescription opioids in the state. That's one reason MCC is working with local authorities to make sure the staff and faculty are prepared. MCC administrators say there haven't been any problems at the college yet, but Narcan will be stocked on all campuses by the end of January. Biology instructor Tanya Baxley is getting national recognition for her innovative work with her students. Baxley recently won the National Digital Learning Innovation Award from the Online Learning Consortium. The OLC honored Baxley for her work improving student success rates from 72 to 90 percent by using online education material. She was flown to Florida to receive a $10,000 award during the OLC National Convention. My initial response was, I was just like, wow. <laughs> so I was really excited, but it took me a minute to realize um, what we got, because I mean, it's it's a decent amount of money and we get to use it to help students, so I was very excited. The award money will be used by the college to help further Baxley's innovative teaching concepts. Baxley and her biology lab assistant also created a biology lab workbook. The workbook and online material help save each of her students approximately $100 in textbook fees. The MCC Business Office just received a National ACE Award. The award recognized the Bursar's Office for efficiency in dispersing more than 90% of students' refunds electronically. Connie Shelley and Margie Chatwood are the MCC employees who received the award. Their tireless work often goes unseen by the public, but groups like Bank Mobile that gave out the ACE Award know Shelley and Chatwood deserve high praise. And the Kingman Daily Minor newspaper picked MCC English instructor John Hansen as the best under 40 educator of the year. The Under 40 Award recognizes rising stars under the age of 40 in the community. Way to go, John! The MCC Information Technology team is receiving national attention. The department successfully used VM software to drastically improve downtime recovery from catastrophic network crashes. It's something that not even VM thought could be done. As a result, we've learned VM plans to profile the MCC IT department in part of an ongoing national campaign. We'll have more on this story coming up soon on the Mojave Wire. New research is out that shows MCC graduates are landing great careers and local communities are also benefiting. MCC Director of Institutional Research Bob Faubert just completed an in-depth analysis of the college, government, and private industry market research. He found that MCC graduates, on average, are earning salaries in the mid-40s to $50,000, just a few years after graduating. Many are staying in the area, which is helping boost our local economies. For every dollar the community is putting into this college, they're getting back almost two times uh, the money that's put into it. So students are benefiting, the community is benefiting in very real ways. His research also backs up market analysis by the private firm EMSI, which found MCC has a $250 million annual economic impact on the Mojave County region. You can find more information in the newly released MCC Economic Impact Study on the Mojave Wire at mojave.edu forward slash Mojave Wire. And there's more great news to report. The MCC Office of Innovation and Transformations found that student success rates jumped in five of the Big Six courses over the past two semesters. The Big Six are Biology, Computer Information Systems, English, Math, Psychology, and STU. From spring to fall, students getting a C or better in biology jumped by nearly 8%. 
CIS saw a nearly 6% gain. English class success rate went up almost a 9%. Math, this is roughly sitting at about 8. Psychology gained a little more than 2. The SCU Survive and Thrive course didn't make the board this time. It was down a little bit more than 1%. In case you missed it, MCC's Student Activity Council has organized Welcome Back Bashes on each of the campuses. More Welcome Back Bashes are coming. Be sure to check the event calendar at mojave.edu as well as the MCC Facebook events calendar for more event details. And if you checked those calendars in November, you would have known about the MCC Shines events. Each campus had hundreds of people show up to enjoy the Shines events, visits with Santa, crafts and games for the kids, even the Lake Havasu Ballet and El Capitan sixth graders performed. Another great year for MCC Shines at all the campuses. A big shout out to the campus deans and their teams for making it such a great success. MCC opened an observatory in the Kingman campus in December. The MCC Art Club painted the building. Dozens of people showed up throughout opening night to see the Andromeda Galaxy through the giant telescope. MCC students worked with college administrators and the local astronomical society to get the observatory built on campus. For more information on using the observatory, contact the campus dean's office at 1-928-692-3000. Thanks for joining us for this edition of MCC News. For more information on these stories as well as others, please be sure to check mojave.edu forward slash mojavewire.